don't get married, fuck till you drop, and then just buy a house. As long as there's penetration and satisfaction, I'm a happy old lady. <laughs> and a dirty old lady as well. What's something you've never told your parents? Um, I slept with two guys in one night. <laughs> Holy shit. In one night? One night. Was it good at least? It was alright. You trying to sleep with one tonight? Yeah! Oh, let's go! What's something you've never told your parents? I slept with my friend's dad for four months. You did a what? I slept with my friend's dad for four months. Four months? Oh, is this a relationship? So, I've decided to, like, for the first time ever, like, start dating. And that the term like like dates have always freaked me out. I've always just like hung out with guys and like whatever. Like in college, didn't really do the boyfriend thing anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. And now I'm 25. Just went through some recent like very traumatic drama with a guy, and I just like realized like that's not the kind of person I want to be with. And then I also realized like I haven't put myself out there enough and so that's what i'm gonna do now um and like i want to be taken out and like i want to be spoiled in the sense of like i want a guy to like think of something fun to do for me like those types of things and like not just minimal effort which is what guys who hang out do Put a finger down if you've had more than five boyfriends, okay? Put a finger down if you left one of your boyfriends with the prime reason to go get with another guy. Put a finger down if you have more than five bodies. Put a finger down if you have more than 10 bodies. 15 bodies? 20 bodies? 25 bodies? 30 bodies? What's your body count? Uh, probably like 56. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, girl! Is that bad? I mean... Both the guys I were talking to you got girlfriends. Woo! The last guy I hooked up with doesn't remember my name. Woo! I just got a boyfriend. Whoa! I dated a SoundCloud rapper. Woo! I dated a really nice guy, then broke up with him and dated his best friend. <laughs> I'm not a toxic person, but this is going to make you think that I am. So I was talking to this boy for like two months and we were at the point where he asked me to stay the night and I wasn't ready to stay the night, but I knew if I said no, he was going to cut me off. Rude. Anyway. So I said I was out with my friends and he said, I'll leave my door unlocked, I have to work in the morning, I'll be in bed, just wake me up when you get here. So I said yes, even though I really meant no, I did not want to do it. Anyway, uh, I left the bar, went to his house, called him three times to make sure he was asleep, opened his door, it was unlocked, I locked it, shut it, went back to my car, sent him my location so he knew that I came, sent him a picture of his front door so that he knew I wasn't lying, called him again, didn't answer. I don't know what I would have done if he actually answered. Anyway, so I texted him. I texted him and I said, I don't know what kind of sick joke you're playing that you invited me to your house and said that your door was unlocked, but it's not. But I'm not doing this. So I went back home, went to bed peacefully. Like that was my whole plan. Like I didn't want to stay the night anyway. And if he sees this, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He texted me the next morning like six times. I'm so sorry, Noel. Like, I thought my door was unlocked, like I really did, I unlocked it, and I was like, you know what, I don't think this is for me, <laughs> and so I had to make sure the ball was in my court, like it, we had to cut off on my terms, not on his, anyway, he said I'm so sorry, and I was just like, no, I just don't think this is for me, like, go deal with somebody else, and that is the most toxic thing I've ever done, and I'm kind of proud, kind of embarrassed, but like I really hope he does not see this. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm at work right now, but last night I did get my guts rearranged and today it is affecting my work ethic. Or 
no, my work performance. My belt. <laughs> <laughs> I know you fucking lying. So some of you men need to understand when you can and can't raise your motherfucking voice. So let me demonstrate. If this is you, you better lower your motherfucking tone when you're talking to me. And this, you're pushing it. At this length, you should be able to ask for a sandwich, but you still need to say please. From this length on growing, you won't even have to raise your damn voice to me. You don't even have to use a tone with me. Your breakfast will already be ready for you in the bed. Your damn lunch will already be packed and ready for you to go to work. And by the time you get home, you will have dinner with me in lingerie. Try me if you want to. Check, please. I'm done. I want you to know something. Nine times out of ten, a woman's vagina is smelling a certain way because of a man. So you need to touch on it the next time you want to call a woman stinky or tardy. Does it work? Do you get trapped people? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It does work. And are you single? Yeah. And like meeting people? <laughs> so actually, maybe single. it doesn't work. Oh, oh, so you want to be in a relationship? No. We actually no. had a long conversation about really? this. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Really? So yeah, I mean, you're posting thirst traps. What is the goal with that? Just to have, so when I inevitably am old, I can like look back look and back. be like, and show oh, your wow. grandchildren, oh, like, yeah. look how hot mm. grandma used yeah, to be, yeah. and get that, and get them fair. interested in you for once. My grandchildren, <laughs> like as a person, I mean. This grandchildren narrative, I feel like, is just is you just like, pushing, pushing the. <laughs> um, no, but so you put out thirst traps and people respond, and you sometimes are interested in those people. No, no, I just do it to flex, you know. Like, what do you post? You gotta flex. Mm, I'm not. I mean, I'm not in the thirst trap game. I have a coffee review page. Oh. I love. I love to review the coffees around the area. Okay, I like that. Um, I mean, that's, that's about it. it. I mean, technically, that's more of a thirst trap. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> that kind of hits the nail on the head. Exactly. A bit more. Yeah. Exactly. Does someone respond to it and then you say, "Oh, that might be someone I want to meet," or not really? No, I just do it for fun. It's for like fun. the dating like, apps. Yeah. It's like, like a dating app. You, you don't you don't respond. You don't entertain. It's just there to be yeah. there. You know. So You're there you to look do good. you use dating apps just to, for your own self, like for your own ego, or do you meet people? No, no. Yeah, it's validation. It's, it's validation. validation. It's solely validation. That's actually. interesting. Yeah. Because it's like compliments, and you're like, okay, yeah, thanks, moving on. Take it. So you're Aww. both on dating apps, but you don't meet people on there. No, correct. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. It's it's. I feel like that's like the general female population here too. Yeah. Like it's not a controversial take at all. Yeah. Wow. But okay, I am like curious though. Like at what point in our life do we like transfer over to? Well, actually yeah. No, I agree. To, like, no, I, for right. Purpose. I mean, I know people who have met successfully people. Yeah. Oh God. Wait. So have you? So, so wait. So you've like never met anyone off a dating app? No. Really? Wait. Why but would you're you on act? them? It's yeah. That seems like a waste of time. <laughs> Guys just don't even understand. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's like another <laughs> form of social media. What do you mean? It's yeah. just like a little like. But if it's the same, if you're doing the same thing on both platforms, right? Just a boost. Right? It's just, just a boost. Just more. It's just a boost. Okay. It's solely for 